Hey, this is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, reminding you to subscribe to The Game MLL for the best video game character remakes and wrestling games on Xbox and PlayStation. Oh, it's true. It's damn true. Subscribe now. Oreo, ducks out of the way. Oh, dash slide. Nice move from Mega Man, is able to sweep Wario off his feet, but not like that. And I think that he's charging up that Mega Buster. Fight has been all Michael Afton. And he hooks him up for the 6 a.m. Suplex! What's up guys, it's your boy The Game, MLL, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Friday Night Freddy's. Now if you guys missed it in the beginning there, Kurt Angle does my intro now. Big shout out to the Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. He brought home the gold medals for America in 1996 with a broken freaking neck. Did I ever mention that? So I am super proud to have him in my intro now. Anyways, let's talk about today's episode. We're going to be having some retro championship tournament action. Remember, the winner of this tournament is going to go on to fight Supersonic EXE. So starting out, we're going to be having Michael Afton taking on DK. That's right, it's Donkey Kong. And then in the second match of the evening, we're going to be having Wario take on Mega Man. So again, the winner will go on to face Supersonic EXE for the retro championship. So I'm super hyped for this tournament. We aren't doing the Golden Freddy Championship tournament right just yet. So I uh, figured it'd be fun to come out here and do another tournament. So that's why we're doing this Retro Championship tournament. We're gonna be having another pay-per-view episode coming up in the next month. We're gonna be having uh, Scrap Baby going head-to-head -head with Roxanne for the Jump Scare Championship. We're gonna be having Freddy Frostbear defending his championship amongst other title matches so be on the lookout for updates on that and that's going to be coming out probably by next month maybe in july at the latest i don't think i don't think it'll be july maybe june at the latest wow. i'm not sure you guys know my schedule it's all messed up right now but anyways hey we got donkey kong he's in the ring he's getting ready to take on michael afton who looks to get an early advantage by sneaking up on dk See if it pays dividends for Michael Afton. He's wrenching on the neck. Oh, face crusher right into the canvas. And he hit Donkey Kong right in the nose. I think that may have just made him more angry. Oh, he's able to get the knee up. He tried shoulder blocking that tree-like leg of Donkey Kong, like running into a brick wall. Oh, and he flings him like a booger right into the ropes. And Michael Afton is getting some punishment here from Donkey Kong. Whipped into the turnbuckles. Oh, nice escape from Michael. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve that we haven't seen before. Michael busting out some combos. He's on the hunt, going after DK. Oh, he grabs him by the necktie. Dirty move, yanking him down by his throat. Oh, scores with the moonsault all the way to the floor. And Donkey Kong getting smashed out there on the steel grating. Remember, there are no protective pads here on Friday Night Freddy's. Gets thrown into the barricade. Michael Afton, oh, launching him spine first right into that barricade. He gets thrown back into the ring. Thought he was going to go for a cover. Michael may have failed to capitalize on an opportunity here. Oh, wait a second. He hooks him up with a rocker dropper? He's not a rock star animatronic. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? One. Oh, scores with a lariat. Michael doing a great job of keeping Donkey Kong grounded. And I think that he realizes that if he gets to that vertical base, he's going to have a lot of extra leverage. Oh, Donkey Kong getting those knees up. Michael taking his time, picking his spot, maybe just a little bit too late.
Donkey Kong wrenching the neck of Michael. Gonna pop his head like a grape. Oh, I thought he almost broke his neck there. Picks him up in the cravat. Transitions into the backbreaker. Hope you guys have smashed the like for today's video. Let's see if we can get this thing to 100 likes today. Donkey Kong has him up for the Gorilla Press. Boom, drops him face first right into the canvas. And Donkey Kong is measuring Michael. He might be looking for that wind up Donkey Kong punch. He's charging it up. He goes for the attack. Oh, wait a second. Michael with a swift counter. I think, I think Donkey Kong was trying to grab his head so that he could get a proper charge punch. Oh, and he knocks him all the way out onto the outside. And Michael hits a leg drop. Nice move. Finds its mark on Donkey Kong's neck. And Donkey Kong is uh, trying to get his wits about him. Looks like he might be a bit stunned. Michael rolls him into the cover, hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? One. No, oh, only a one count. Donkey Kong still has a lot left in the tank. But so far, this fight has been all Michael Afton. And he hooks him up for the 6 a.m. Suplex. He got all of that one. Let's see that again, guys. Boom. Too bad it ain't 6 a.m. He drops him with the 6 a.m. suplex. And Donkey Kong just barely gets his shoulder up off the canvas. Donkey Kong in a world of hurt here. And Michael is digging deeper into the well, trying to find something that he can use to eliminate Donkey Kong. He pulls out that friendly Friday Night Freddy's ladder. And Donkey Kong doesn't even know where he's at right now. Oh, he throws him into the ladder from the turnbuckles. He's sizing him up. And I think this might be it here, guys. This is going to be a shutout. Michael Opton, 6 a.m. for a second time, this time on the ladder. Donkey Kong is not moving. Holy cow, he didn't even blink. After he hit the ground, he might be broken in half. Is that going to be enough? One, two. Oh, still only a two count? Are you serious? Donkey Kong really needs to dig into his reserves and pull out something flashy here if he wants any chance of winning. Oh, he misses that leg drop. Oh, he scores with the donkey punch. He had that thing charged up and he was just picking his spot to use it. Boom, he scores with back-to-back -back charged donkey punches right to the face of Michael Afton. Hooks the leg. One, two, three, and D. K. His name is Donkey Kong. He's going to be advancing here in the Retro Championship Tournament. Holy cow. Let's see some of those replays. There you see the Rocker Dropper digging into the Rockstar playbook. Still not enough to keep down Donkey Kong. That Gorilla Press really took the wind out of the sails of Michael Afton along with that 6 a.m. suplex and the second one on the ladder. But in the end, it was the Donkey Kong punch that was the nail in the coffin. Man, I hope you guys have smashed the like button. Do not go anywhere. We still have one more match. It's going to be our main event of the evening, and that's going to be Wario taking on Mega Man. So like I said, smash the like button, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you have subscribed and that you have turned on the notification bell. Like I said, my upload schedule's been a little bit wonky. I'm going to try to get some more content done this summer. Um, but yeah, we'll be having some awesome downloads. Don't forget, WWE 2K22 is going to be coming out, so make sure you hit the notification bell for new creations. Donkey Kong advances in the Retro Championship Tournament. Up next, it's going to be Wario taking on Mega Man, and it's going to be live on YouTube. All right, guys, introducing first, he eliminated Waluigi to advance here in the Retro Championship Tournament in hopes of gaining a championship opportunity against Supersonic EXE. Here comes Wario. Now, this one was a community download. I'm not going to take credit for this one. Um, I think I did some resizing on the face for the second costume. But uh, yeah, this is a free community download on 2K19. 
you want to download that. Um, we're going to be having some exciting stuff coming up on this channel in the near future because WWE 2K22 is going to be coming out. I'm going to be making projects for PlayStation, possibly on PC, and on Xbox Series X. So, uh, yeah, we'll be going to PS5 when they drop that. So, we'll see what happens on the PS4 community. It might not be a popular choice. Maybe I'll wait until next year to switch to PS5. What are your guys' concerns with that choice? Let me know in the comments section. I'm sure we're going to have mixed reactions to that decision. But I know most of you are going to be upgrading the PS5 and Xbox Series X pretty soon. So like I said, be on the lookout for my content on those games. It's going to be in the near future. And we'll learn about it. I'm guessing by October, WWE 2K22 is going to drop. That's usually their deadline. And usually uh, it comes out around then. So I have no inside information. I'm just taking an educated guess based on previous game releases with the WWE 2K franchise. So we'll see. But in the meantime, you know I'm thinking about the future. And speaking of the future, here we have Mega Man. And he's uh, putting some beat down here on Mr. Wario. Oh, he scores with Pater. He slingshots his feet off the ropes. And Wario gets dumped face first into the canvas. So he ducks out of the way of a super kick. Scores with the Lariat. Wario, physically the much stronger of the two. Mega Man doesn't appear to have all of his upgrades, if you know what I'm saying. Hits that springboard. Boom! The Rush Dog. Hits him with the Rush Dog off the ropes. Who are you guys pulling for in this Retro Championship Tournament? Let me know in the comments section if we're watching this live on the premiere. Let me know there or let me know in the comments if you're watching this a day later or after it has gone live. But typically when I release my videos, I like to live chat with my fans and I like to interact with all you guys. So if you guys are here, make sure you guys have smashed the thumbs up button. Make sure you have dropped that like for me so that my content gets recommended into your feed. Mega Man now wrenching the neck of Wario. Mega Man putting, putting the boots to Wario. Oh, wait a second, he counters. He throws him over his shoulder. Wonder if uh, Mega Man is going to try to steal the Wario bomb like he stole Samus' Metroid bomb. If you guys missed it in the last episode, Mega Man used the ability steal and stole the Metroid bomb and used it against Samus to secure the win. So I'd be really curious if Mega Man is uh, stockpiling new finishing moves in his arsenal after having these encounters with other competitors. Wario now hanging, hanging him out in the tree of woe, and now he's stepping on Mega Man's face. Mega Man, losing a lot of energy on that one, gets covered by Wario. Oh, I thought that was going to be a three count. That was a really deep two. Mega Man just barely getting his shoulder up off the canvas. Wario is hot-dogging it here. He doesn't appear to be sweating Mega Man. He's got this in the bag. Wario. Oh, wait a second. Mega Man getting a second win here. Starting to make somewhat of a comeback. It's a springboard. Oh, front handspring into a springboard in Sigiri. Mega Man gets countered by Wario. And Mega Man gets hit with the fall away slam. Nice move there by Wario. And Wario throws Mega Man over the top of ropes and just spilling out onto the floor. Wario now, oh, trying to go for Mega Man. Nice DDT from Mega Man. Wario getting destroyed here. Wario gets dumped on his head out on the floor and rolled into the ring. Mega Man goes for the cover. Is that going to be enough? One. Oh, only a one count. Mega Man starting to wear down Wario just a little bit. He counters the deck whip. So what are your guys' thoughts on Molten Mario? Did you guys see Molten Mario in action last week? He took on Luigi. Luigi is going to have his work cut out for him if he ever wants to bring Mario back to normal. May have to look for some help. In the meantime, next week, or <laughs> next week, let's be, let's be honest, guys. On the next episode of Friday Night Freddy's, wait a second. Oh, there's a two count. On the next episode of Friday Night Freddy's, in the main event, we're going to be having 
Savini Jason from the Hardcore Horror Division take on Molten Mario. Oh, leg drop. Leg drop from Wario. That may have broken Mega Man's neck. But that's going to be an awesome main event. That's going to be in the very next published episode of Friday Night Freddy's. So I hope you guys tune in for that. It's going to be a good old-fashioned barn burner. Maybe we'll do it in the Hell Arena. Who knows? Mega Man now stomping on the leg of Wario. Throwing Wario to the side. And Mega Man leaps over Wario. Ducks out of the way. Oh, dash slide. Nice move from Mega Man. Was able to sweep Wario off his feet, but not like that. And I think that he's charging up that Mega Buster. It looks like it's ready to charge. Boom, full blast right into the face of Wario. And Wario might be blinded, but wait, he has on those sunglasses. One, two. Wario getting a bit stunned from that charge Mega Punch. And that was, I think, probably one of the best Mega Punches I've seen him deliver so far. I'm really surprised the Wario was able to escape that pinning predicament. And Wario now, oh, using the dirty tactic, hanging him up off the middle rope, choking Mega Man. He's got him by the throat now. Wario lifts him up in the air. Boom, big time choke slam from Wario. And he might be looking for that Wario bomb. Oh, wait a second, Mega Man counters. You gotta, you gotta be thinking he was looking for Wario Bomb. Mega Man now. In full control of Wario. Oh, I thought he was going for that slide. He tricked him. He caught him with the Hurn Kenrana. Mega Man doing a great job of changing up his offense. Keeping Wario guessing. Mega Man now. Getting a flurry of offense. Oh, wait a second. Wario counters. Body slam from Wario. And Wario's having to turn this around one more time on Mega Man. Wario catching a breather. Might be looking for a weapon. Oh, Mega Man realizing he was going to have to sacrifice a little bit of his health to get that attack on Wario. But I think, I think the mission was accomplished here. Wario isn't moving. And now Mega Man has the upper hand. Mega Man throws him back in the ring. If I was Mega Man, I think I would have went for the cover there. He hops over Wario. Oh, there's that dash slide again. Nice move there from Mega Man. Wario doesn't know what's going on. Mega Man has him here. Boom! Modified version of the Metroid Bomb. He calls that the X-Plex. Oh, and he escapes. Mega Man using that X-Plex by combining his energy with Samus's. Now it looks like Wario has been awakened. Wario on his last bit of energy, I would imagine here. Oh, wait a second. Full head of steam. Snake Eyes into the top ropes. He hits the ropes hard. Boom! Big time, big boot. Oh, when he crushes Mega Man with a leg drop. He says, that's it. He hits the ropes. Oh, he's got a Wario Bomb. Oh, and he crushes him. One, two. Oh, thought that was going to be it for sure. Pulling out the Wario Bomb and sitting on Mega Man. Wario having an immunity to the Bomb, able to use it like a kamikaze tactic, but without taking damage to himself. Interesting offense from Wario. Okay, Mega Man. Mega Man's on his last bit of strength. He has to get this comeback here. Boom. Wario gets planted right into the middle turnbuckle and Mega Man's celebrating. It might be a little bit too early, Mega Man. You might want to lock down that win first. Is that going to be enough? Hooks the leg. One. Oh, so far only a count of one. Wario coming back. Big time, big boot. Sweeping him. Countering. Going tit for tat. These guys, who's going to gain control here? Oh, sidewalk slam from Wario. Wario gets the better of that exchange. Oh, he misses the boot. Oh, super kick. Gets ducked. 
And he goes back to the backbreaker, focusing in on the body. Seems to be the primary attack zone for Wario's offense. Don't want to take body damage going up against Wario, apparently. He runs in with the arm drag off the top ropes. Get planted three quarters on the other side of the ring. And Wario gets hit in the guts. Mega Man hitting him with some deadly strikes. Looks like Wario's coat. Something's wrong with it. It's like caught on his waist. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but anyways. Oh, there it goes. Looks like it fell out. Mega Man ducks out of the way out of the clothesline. What's he looking for here? I thought he was gonna send him face first into the corner. This time he changes it again into a head scissors takedown. You never guess what Mega Man's going to do. It seems like he adapts to every situation. Oh, wait a second. Wario recovered a bit earlier than he anticipated. Oh, he hits his head into the ladder. Both men go falling down. I don't think anybody got the better of that exchange. And Mega Man trying to get that ladder. Oh, wait a second. He finally gets it. Wario just kind of lets him come into the ring with it. I think he was trying to gain control over it, but he got countered. Boom. Atomic drop from Mega Man. Hooks the leg. Is that going to be enough? Not even a one count? Is Wario getting stronger when he takes damage? What's going on here? And Wario ducks out of the way. Oh, nice neck breaker right into the ladder. Oops. Man, I just pulled a JR. That wasn't even a neck breaker. That was a back body drop. And he hits him with that running power slam right across the ladder. And that's got to be it. Oh, wait a second. Wario, what's he looking for here? He's setting that ladder up in the middle of the ring. Oh, he runs right into a knee strike. Oh, my goodness. Mega Man getting his face destroyed by Wario. Mega Man recovers. Oh, but right in the face of Wario, who's able to catch him with an uppercut on the jaw. Boom, he gets flung across the ring onto the ladder. And Wario now picking his poison. Might be looking to put away Mega Man here. Sizing up Mega Man. Wario has him in his crosshairs. Oh, he dumps him again right on the point of the ladder on the top right side. And Wario now. Oh, wait a second. Mega Man recovers. He hits him with the Mega Punch. I don't think he had a charge blast ready, but he caught him with that Mega Punch. He's going for that X-Plex. He gets countered with a Choke Slam. Oh, that's one of Wario's signature maneuvers. Brilliant counter. You gotta figure he was looking for uh, X-Plex. After he scored with that uh, Mega Punch. Flatliner from Wario, planting Mega Man right into the canvas. Looks like Wario's got something planned with that steel ladder. What's he gonna do to Mega Man? Mega Man counters. Oh! But not good enough. Runs right into the ladder shots. Counters Wario. Oh, right into the into the corner with the clothesline. Mega Man. Oh, guillotining him over the bottom ropes with the leg drop. Is that gonna be enough? Hooks the leg. Oh my goodness, Wario. Not even giving Mega Man a one count. Mega Man firing with all that he's got. And Wario crushes his knee. Throws him into the corner. It's Wario got in store for Mega Man. Oh, Mega Man with the counter. Oh, he went for the for the Mega Punch. He gets caught in midair with the choke slam. And I think that took all the wind out of the sails out of Mega Man. He's not even moving, guys. Mega Man trying to crawl away from Wario. This isn't looking good if you're a Mega Man fan. Wario has him hoisted up. He's got the Wario Bomb. Oh! This time he got all the Wario Bomb. Let's see that one more time. Boom! Out of the Power Bomb. Pulls the Wario Bomb out of nowhere. Goes for the cover. Is that going to be enough? One, two, 
free and here is your winner wario holy cow guys what a competitive contest i'm so happy that i was able to host that for you guys between mega man and wario who knew if we gave them a main event spot they were going to knock that out of the park all right guys well wario is advancing in this retro championship tournament so the next time we do one of these matches it will be donkey kong taking on wario and the winner will go on to face supersonic exe at our next pay-per-view event for the retro championship title all right guys well that's going to do it for today's episode i hope that you enjoyed today's content make sure you guys have dropped a like on today's video and don't forget next week we're going to be having molten mario taking on savini jason in the main event of friday night freddy's i'm your boy the game mll signing out and i'll catch you guys next time SCU! Greetings and salutations. It's your man CD, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels, former Ring of Honor World Champion, current member of the AEW roster, one of the founders of SCU, and an all-around handsome man, and listen to what I have to tell you. If you're looking for the cool videos or the best video game character remakes for Xbox and PlayStation, what you want to do is go to YouTube and check out the Game MLL channel. Subscribe to him, like him. He's the man with the master plan, and you're going to enjoy everything he does. So check him out and tell him the Fallen Angels sent you. SCU later. SCU!